Jaden, how was practice the last couple of days? I, I just asked Omar, did it feel like it was a reset? And he said it was more like an eye-opening experience, I guess. What were your thoughts? Yeah, I'll say it was both. Um, eye-opening and it was a reset. Uh, practice the last couple of days, it's been, it been very well. Uh, we've been very inten intentional what we're doing and what we want to accomplish, um, how we prepare um, day in and day out each period. You know, we got to keep the intensity up like Coach Kelly talks about, um, you know, because that translates over to the game. So how you practice is how you're going to play, essentially. After the game, one of the things that you talked about was kind of letting it rip, I guess, and, and getting the ball out. Now that you had a chance to really look at tape, did, did that resonate even more? Yeah, most definitely. It's, it's times where uh, I could have gave the guys a shot. You know, uh, Brian uh, gave Malik a better ball here and there. Um, but other than that, you know, it's, it's just stuff that we got to clean up, and that starts with our urgency and our intensity, how we come out uh, when we attack each and every play. Jaden, you guys seem to move the ball up and down the field really well. But when you got inside the 10, you kind of stalled out a little bit. What kind of happened there? What do you guys need to fix? Yeah, we just need to finish. Uh, that's the main thing is, is finishing drives, no matter how it is, pass, run. Uh, you know, going back to keeping our core fundamentals, you know, what we're, what we're taught. Um, you know, when adverse times come or, you know, when energy is high and everything, you know, you got to be able to quiet your mind and, and think about the right things uh, mentally with your fundamentals and everything like that. So. Um, you know, we can't, we can't get into those type of drives and you know, not finish against a good opponent like Florida State. Post game, Coach Kelly spoke about the inability to convert in the red zone at this past Florida, Florida State game. What do you do moving forward to make sure that doesn't happen as the uh, quarterback at the helm? Yeah, most definitely. Uh, you know, you just go out there and really just, like I said, stick to your core fundamentals of, of everything that you're taught. Uh, if we got all 11 guys on the same page, you know, we, we're, we're successful at the end of the day. But, you know, uh, you, you're going out there, you're, you have that do your job mentality, um, not trying to do too much, not trying to be somebody, do somebody else's job, you know, do your job and we should be successful at the end of the day. You guys had almost 300 yards of offense in the first half. What do you think kind of was the issue going in the second half? Yeah, um, going, the issue going to the second half is uh, our urgency and our intensity. You know, we came off flat, um, and, you know, we got behind the eight ball pretty fast. Uh, you know, a couple a turnover, you know, a three, a, a third down. We didn't convert on third down. Um, you know, and they capitalized on those type of things. And, you know, um, if we come out with more uh, urgency and, you know, more energy overall, you know, I feel like the outcome would be different. Jaden, what's that urgency and intensity going to look like this weekend? First weekend back in Tiger Stadium, an on-conference opponent. What is that going to look like? I would say it's just how we attack the ball uh, each and every play, how we attack each drive, um, taking the field um, when, you know, we change possessions. Um, you know, that matters a lot, you know, especially from upstairs. You know, if those guys see that we're attacking the field and, you know, we're ready to go out there and, and attack the defense, uh, it puts us in a better position to, to really be in the right mind of focus and go out there and uh, accomplish our jobs. I'm sure you talked to the offensive line this week. What was their sentiment, their thoughts? Probably not their best effort. Yeah, I mean, every, like I said, the whole, the whole offensive unit, everybody has to be on the same page. Um, you know, it's 11 guys. Each guy has to do the job. It's not, we're at a disadvantage. It's not like defense where one guy can mess up kind of, you know, you have somebody else right there. Um, if the center doesn't snap the ball, if I don't catch the ball, you know, the play doesn't, doesn't happen. Uh, somebody misses black or, you know, Somebody drops a ball, or I miss a throw. You know the play. The play is it's not a good result. So, really, just going out there, everybody having that do your job mentality. What can you say about a game like this that affords you the opportunity to get some things right and, and gain confidence as far as getting this thing back in the direction you wanted it to be? Yeah, I mean, we was in the same position last year. Uh, you know, we lost the game. Uh, you know, people. It was more eye-opening, uh, obviously, this year, you know, because what was at stake with everything, you know, uh, what we thought we were as a team. And I still believe that we we're that same team. You know, we just got to go out there and show it uh, day in and day out, uh, each practice, uh, each possession in the game. You know, uh, if we do that, I feel like we'll be successful at the end of the day. You guys struggled to run the ball, and it looked like you weren't really able to get into a rhythm. Did you feel that way? Uh, yeah, most definitely. You know, you, you got to be able to run the ball, but you know that, that starts with, with everybody else. Um, you know, there's a couple times where I might have pulled the ball where I shouldn't handle the ball off. Um, you know, trying to do too much for my part. Uh, you know, just trusting those guys. You know, to run the best to go out there and make plays, which they do. Um, so you know, we, we got that corrected. You know, we practiced that. We got that corrected. So you know, we'll see that on Saturday. Jaden, you mentioned you guys were in this exact same situation last year. Last year, y'all bounced back in a big way. 
How do you, what is your kind of mindset going into this week, and how do you kind of lead some of the younger guys that maybe weren't in this spot last year? Yeah, I mean, they just got to follow, they got to follow our lead, trust the captains, um, and, and what we're talking about, what we're preaching, uh, trust what Coach Kelly is talking about, because uh, like I said, we, we dealt with this adversity last year, um, and you know, just going out there, and for me personally, just having that do your job mentality, like I said, um, I'm playing, play out, where's my focus at, um, what is my job on this certain play, and you go out there and execute at a high level. Uh, you had some overthrows and some underthrows. Do you think it kind of is what you're talking about there? Maybe thinking about everything else too much, or what did what did you feel after the game as far as your your physical performance? Uh, I mean, obviously, you know, we didn't win, but I mean, win or loss, and win or lose, you know, you can always play better. Um, the film's not as good as you thought it was, and not as bad as you think it's going to be. Um, so for me, it's kind of just going out there and you know, trust, trust my technique. You know, go back to the to the basic trainings. You know, what I've been taught since day one. Uh, even when I was a little kid, you know, trusting your technique and put myself in the right position to make those type of throws. Uh, even, you know, putting the, hitting the receiver's stride or, or getting the ball up a little bit, you know, so the receiver go out and make a play. And that's not just for me, it's for everybody, the offensive line, running backs, uh, the receiver. So, you know, if you trust your technique, we, we'll be in a, a fine spot.